this is how to use effect controls for a video file on Adobe Premiere Pro. We're going to use this footage of flowers and a bee, for example. We'll start off with position. With position, you can either click and hold onto the video and just move the mouse around like this, or click and hold the mouse on either of the numbered position numbers and just move the mouse up and down to make it move like this, or this, or you could just type in the numbers, type in different numbers. For scale, click and hold onto the scale number and just move the mouse up and down to differentiate the size. You see uniform scale, we're going to uncheck this. Now what does this do? We have scale height and scale width. Click and hold scale height like this, and scale width for a different effect. Now we have rotation. You can either move closely to the video like this, you'll get this double arrow, click and hold and you'll get this rotating thing, or you could just use the mouse to hold on to here and just move around with the rotation like this. Anchor point, if you move right like this or this, it's like the position except the vector point right here doesn't move with the image. Here's what it does to the rotation and the size or scale. Now we cut to opacity. We'll start with the obvious one. The 100% right here, like the position and scale, move it up and down like this to mess around with the opacity, the highest being the most visible and the lowest being the most invisible. Oh yeah, and uh, I wanna show you, I wanna copy and paste one of the two to show what I mean. You can also mess around with the blending modes. For example, darken goes there, overlay, hard light, lighter color, color, and divide. Those are just examples. And not to mention we also have our masking options like create ellipse mask. Now what did this do? It created this oval thing called an ellipse mask. Move the oval like this, hold on to one of the tiny squares like this. Move up, uh, click and hold on, click and hold and scroll the mask feather or the mask opacity or the mask expansion. And just invert it. The same goes for the square version. And not to mention, you can actually uh, click right here, you can make a tiny square, and here. Now this one is free draw bezier, which is another type of masking where you can actually make your own shape like this. I'm doing the same thing as the ellipse and the square mask tool. Now I'm very curious about time remapping or the speed of the video. I want to test this out first, hold on. Now this actually, once you hold on to this, when you hold on to this line, this one messes around with the speed of a video. And that's all I want to show about how to mess around with effect controls for this. Bye.